Guardian Tales just dropped their latest patch notes, and we're here to break down all the awesome updates waiting for you in the game. Let's dive in and see what's new. Disclaimer, these patch notes are from the Korean server. The Korean server is always two weeks ahead of global servers. Please note that certain patches might undergo modifications before their global release. With that out of the way, let's begin with the introduction of the new hero. The newest hero introduced in this patch is Defender of the Forest Estelle. For an overview of this hero, you can check out my video, the link is in the comment section. They've included Japanese voice lines for Garam. World Expedition will be temporarily closed. Consequently, stages can no longer be selected on the World Expedition screen, and merch production is also disabled during this period. All resources obtained from World Expedition can now be exchanged for World Expedition coin. Here is a list of items that can be purchased with World Expedition coin. The requirement to unlock merch training in the training room will be updated for manufacturing 50 merch to clearing World 7. A new game mode, Teddy's Hero War Beta, will be introduced. During the beta phase, access will be available through the banner located at the top right of the main screen in the floating castle. A party can consist of up to eight heroes. Upon clearing difficulty level 6, the challenge difficulty becomes accessible. Challenge difficulty offers more stages compared to other difficulties, allowing players to achieve higher scores by undertaking trials. You have the ability to summon a hero to your desired location and initiate the battle. Summoning a hero consumes energy. It's possible to summon additional heroes during the battle. All summoned heroes utilize weapon skills. Any weapon skills and status abnormalities linked to heroes are converted to incapacitated status. If all stages are successfully cleared, or if the battle ends due to time expiration, depletion of energy, or the hero's defeat, the challenge concludes and you receive points. In Teddy's Hero War, certain abilities of the heroes are either enhanced or weakened, and these modifications are exclusive to Teddy's Hero War stats. Relic set effects do not function in Teddy's Heroic Battle. The monster attributes in the challenge vary based on the day of the week, and points are awarded for each attribute. Non-six attributes are cycled on Sundays. Initial rewards can be obtained once upon reaching a specific score for each attribute. Additionally, rewards corresponding to the highest score for each attribute can be earned through completion. The primary reward in Tetis Hero War is Tetis Hero War coins, usable in the Tetis Hero War store. Points acquired and details of initial rewards are reset at the beginning of each round. For the Dungeon Kingdom Arena update, an empty slot has been added to the vacant party hero spot in the results window. During arena battles, only the words of the day submitted by members of the same guild that day will be visible. Comma Zone Land will be closed, and players will not be able to access Comma Zone Land or use the Bottle Cap Store. Following the update, all bottle caps owned by players will be automatically converted to 45 gold each. A new season of Co-op Defense Mode will be introduced. A new knowledge collection will be available for the new exclusive weapon, offering bonus stats of attack plus 1%. Here are the limited time packages that will be available in the shop. These are the regular updates included in the patch. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.